come here. Well, that's back-to-back -back cast. I, I, that's, I guess, the next best thing to two on the same cast. <laughs> two that size. Look at those red eyes. Is that cool or what? Look at this guy. Look at the belly on this one. Holy cow. You think this guy's been eating? Look at down this fish's mouth. What do you think he's eating? Mr. Crayfish didn't make it home tonight. Whoa! <laughs> that one just hit the water. And that fish was on. Time on the Water is brought to you in part by Shimano Rods and Reels. Water Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. Next time you're visiting Time on the Water Outdoors, make sure you stop in Big Buck Archery. We're proud to have newly remodeled and expanded our archery division. Uh, we now have an indoor 45 yard range. Uh, we're happy to carry Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt bows. We have a complete archery pro shop. Stop in for the best deal and the best attention you can get. Yesterday we caught um, we caught four fish with gullets full of crayfish sticking out, and they're really? still eating stuff off the top. Today's show was filmed on the Kankakee River. I had met a guy at sports shows. I'd seen him around a, a lot. His name's Austin Aducci. He actually runs a fly guide service on the Kankakee in a float boat, and he had told me about the crazy fish he was catching and. And one day we finally decided to get it together and go out with him, and boy, he wasn't lying. This was one of the best fishing trips I've ever been on. Come on, dude. Get over here. Oh, <laughs> Just hoisting them in. <clears throat> They've been laying up in that slack water just right up in front. Look at that guy. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm using a Jackal SK Pop that seems to be doing the job right now, but God, these fish are just everywhere. It's amazing. I will be back soon. That one didn't even, just hardly a ripple, just kind of took it under. So. Tell me a little bit about this Kankakee fishery. Where does it start and is is it pretty stable or is it, you know, is there any danger this is gonna go down in quality? It comes out of Indiana, out of a small little creek and you know they did some sort of dredging and straightening of the river way back when, um, which affected the Kankakee Marsh area. Once it hits, um, once it merges with the Iroquois, it gets pretty wide wide and deep. Look further into Illinois you get, you start getting into prime sections of the river like this where it shallows up, speeds up. But um, there's not a lot of industry or anything? Um... Not really, not really. Um, danger factors? I personally believe the Asian carp have an open highway in here and nobody really talks about it. Everybody's hmm. concerned about them getting into the lake. Instead of here, which I mean, this meets with the Displains, which meets with the Illinois, and there's really nothing stopping them. Right. Um, there's areas that over, you know, 30 years have been sanded in um, that used to be prime river like this with, with heavy rock base that's now just all sand. Mm -hmm. I've heard that from locals that have been fishing the river for a long time. They said, you know, it's, like, it's eventually gonna happen and all that sand is coming from Indiana, um, and that too, there's really nothing being done about that issue. 
Now you gotta wonder the times when we were throwing the spinner and stuff. Oh, there, this one had one with it too. Oh, look, see, can you see? I'll see if I can bring them up and you can see them both. All right, let me get this one in then. I was just about to say those areas where we threw the spinner. Let me see if I can unhook them. If there were no fish there or we were throwing the wrong bait. You know, my favorite fish are probably smallmouth bass. We went out on this and I went with conventional tackle. I wasn't fly fishing and he'll take out for that too. But the smallmouth fishing was just tremendous. I think I lost count, 30, 40, maybe more. Uh, all cookie cutter fish, two and a half, three pounders, uh, just fought like heck out of little skinny water. It was amazing. It was like some of these fish had never seen a lure before. As I said earlier, one of the best trips I've ever been on. So where do you think they, are there many creeks off this? Or where do you uh, think they spawn? Well, right across the river now, there's Davis Creek. Uh-huh. They go up there and spawn. Um, there's Rock Creek, that's a very well-known spawning creek, and there's a couple small ones. Um, there's not that many creeks. This one's Little Scott. <clears throat> They're in here this size, too. baby but hit it like a big guy the future yep hey Austin so somebody that's gonna hire you to guide whether it be fly fishing or conventional tackle what do they need to bring with them uh, fishing license and some sun glasses otherwise I supply uh, everything else gear whether it be lures or flies rods and reels fly rods uh, I supply it all I have rain gear for clients if they need it um, good attitude, fishing license, and sunglasses. That's about it. That's all you need. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I think he came back and got it. <laughs> oh, that's a fatty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a bunch of fish up on this little shelf. Little bitty eddy area. That one hit it, I pulled it away from it, and he must have come back and got it. <laughs> In your career. I've seen a lot. <laughs> but you know, it, it's like that one right there. Yeah. It's still, uh, it's still <laughs> fun. I mean, like you said, you grew up around here, never right. really fished it. I mean, well, I, there's I'm, a bigger one with this guy. I'm getting yeah. a lot of enjoyment just watching your excitement. Like I said, I you know I fished the Kankakee down by the Plains Conservation Area. I've always read <clears throat> the stories about fishing here, but never really experienced it. Yeah, there was a bigger one with that one when I brought it up. Right now they seem to be and a little slack water near the bank just before the, the rocks and the current. Watch, I'll get hit way out in the middle here though. <laughs> Time on the Water is brought to you by Humminbird Electronics. Simply, clearly, better. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Incredible 360 imaging, available for your transom and now for your bow, putting you at the center of the 360 revolution, only from Hummingbird. From freshwater to saltwater, anglers depend on PowerPro to provide a fish catching edge over standard monofilament or even other super braids. The use of the exclusive enhanced body technology provides a rounder, smoother, slicker, and structurally superior ultra strong braid line 
enhancing pitching and flipping, jigging, casting, trolling, and big game fishing. PowerPro provides specific benefits to every situation in angler encounters and opens the door to waters never fished before. Hi, I'm on the Water Outdoors as your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cat, Sea Ark, Skeeter. Next time you're visiting Time on the Water Outdoors, make sure you stop in Big Buck Archery. We're proud to have newly remodeled and expanded our archery division. Uh, we now have an indoor 45 yard range. Uh, we're happy to carry Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt bows. We have a complete archery pro shop. Stop in for the best deal and the best attention you can get. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Time on the Water is brought to you by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Anywhere, anytime. Gosh, even the little ones fight. Coming back up, Scott? Still big bellies. Yeah, I know. They all fight like champs here. It's it's a question in my mind of is the rattle making that much of a difference? More so than the fly, you know, where it's silent and just the profile and, and color. They're pretty efficient feeders. They just kind of and it's gone. <laughs> I guess that's how they get those bellies. I know that's how I am. You know, after lunch we, we stopped and he moved us, you know half mile downstream and he anchored up and he showed me there was a ledge and it had a create a little eddy area with a little slick piece of water and you know it was easy he kind of told me where to cast and we found this one little pool I think we caught six or seven really nice smallmouth bass as quick as you could cast in there you'd pop it a couple times they'd crush it you reel them in they fight like heck because they're in the current and it was just one after another I, I when we had to leave, I was a little sad because, uh, you know, I, I figured we could just keep catching them there, but he said, no, there's more and more spots, and boy, he wasn't lying. Uh, I don't know if that was you before, but I'm going to pretend it was. There's a ton of these in here. Unbelievable quality today. I know. Just look at that. Just beautiful. I mean, they're untouched fish. They're just, they're just perfect. Nothing wrong with them. No disease, no spots, no fungus. They're just perfect, picture perfect. I had gotten hit in that same place just a couple of casts before. I'm not sure if it's the same fish, but maybe it was. <laughs> yeah, this just stinks as a way to spend the day. This island that we're coming to is really the start of the state park. Um, people not, not, they haven't not necessarily been this far up yet, but we're mm -hmm. gonna start seeing more little fish. And what do you, th is that just because of the, oh, that was a decent one, did you see him? I did. 
Is that just because the structure of the river is changing, you think? I, I want to say it's because pressure and they got smart. When we got to this trip, you know, which was great for him, the, the water was just about normal level. It was clear. Uh, current was really flowing. It, it was just perfect for the trip. Uh, any lower, we would have had some difficulties, you know, even with his boat, but he claims he'd still get it through there. Uh, so you saw rock formations and jetties and weed beds and, you know, little places that you could see were just holding fish. Some of the fish we'd see coming from 20 feet away, the water is so clear. Uh, but they were really hungry, really aggressive, and it was really fun catching them. Ooh, there's a frog. This one's a decent one. Right off that stick. Yeah. Oh, there's, look at, there's three of them. <laughs> I might have two. You do? I have two. Oh, oh. one got off. <laughs> I had two on there. And the other one was just as big as this one. <laughs> That's crazy. I had two fish hooked. I think one on each hook, and they were both this size. Look at that. Can you imagine two of those? That would have been a first. I know. <laughs> they were both on. Yep. They were both on for a little bit. Because I, I saw the one come up after, and I, I think he was trying to take it out of its mouth. I mean, two 16-inch fish trying to get one popper. That's awesome. There he is. Ooh. This one's big, too. <laughs> this was out of the exact, I made the exact same cast. Yeah, let's stay here a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Come here, come here. Well, that's back-to-back -back cast. I, I, that's, I guess, the next best thing to two on the same cast. <laughs> two that size. Look at those red eyes, is that cool or what? What do you think, is there number three there? Hopefully. Let's try. Yeah, this just stinks as a way to spend a day. Time on the Water is brought to you in part by Shimano Rods and Reels. Water Outdoors is your fishing and hunting boating center. We have boats from Bass Cap, Sea Ark, Skeeter. Next time you're visiting Time on the Water Outdoors, make sure you stop in Big Buck Archery. We're proud to have newly remodeled and expanded our archery division. Uh, we now have an indoor 45 yard range. Uh, we're happy to carry Matthews, Mission, and Hoyt bows. We have a complete archery pro shop. Stop in for the best deal and the best attention you can get. Hold it right there. The Minn Kota Talon locks you onto a fishing spot with unmatched speed and stealth. And when Mother Nature tries to knock you off your mark, hit back with the strongest hold on the water. Talon, stand your ground. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. 
incredible 360 imaging available for your transom and now for your bow, putting you at the center of the 360 revolution, only from Hummingbird. Time on the Water is brought to you by Humminbird Electronics. Simply, clearly, better. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Oh, this just is a horrible way to spend the day. All right, all right. What do you think? I've caught about three out of that little area. I bet you there's another one. Seems to be right out near the edge where the last couple have hit. Mm -hmm. Right about there. Right around there, yeah. Let's give it uh, 10 seconds to reload. You know, the bait pattern I was using for my SK Pop, my, my little jackal bait, was just kind of a minnow color, shad color. Um, usually there's times when you want to choose between like a bluegill pattern, crayfish pattern, something like that. You know, this one, to be honest, I don't know if it would have mattered. Uh, it was something weird that was going through this, you know, fish's zone they hadn't seen before and they were just crushing it. Oh, he's in the grass. They might be foul hooked, this one. I know he couldn't swim in the grass either. This one actually slapped at it. I cheated. I couldn't wait to get to the good area, so I made a long cast. I just got another beautiful fish. I'm not being punished for cheating with that. <laughs> you mind if I, I'm not penalized? I can throw again? Oh, yeah, have at it. It's another one, same size. This one's staying down. Come here. Settle. I'm going to grab you in a second. Just settle down. Well, this is one of those uh, you don't get many of these days. No, well, I guess you do. <laughs> I, yeah, th this this good bite like this has been going on all week, believe it or not. I mean, this is not just one of those epic TV days. This is a... Uh, no, even is, for me as a fisherman, this is uh, this is special. Yeah, this is how it's been. This is seven days in a row on the river, and, wow. and every day has been this good. You know, for living in an urban area where fishing locations aren't that prevalent, where, you know, they really get worked over hard, this is an untapped fishery. For seven hours, you couldn't tell we weren't up in Canada. Uh, I mean, it was really just untapped. Nobody, it was like being in the wilderness, and, and we were just an hour south of Chicago. Uh, I, I can't imagine another place that close to an urban area that, that has that kind of untouched fishery. It was really a lot of fun. amazing. This is the kind of, you know, when you're in a tournament, you dream about finding a place like this. I know. You're slacking, Frank. That's a little bit smaller than, than average up? now. I'll try better. I'll, I'll do better. Yeah, anytime you go somewhere and that kind of fish is a bad one, you're in a pretty good place. There's just, a, I don't know where to throw next. There's this big flat of slack water here, which seemed to have fish on them. And 
and uh, they're they're pretty effective eaters. <laughs> Most of them are getting it. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. All right. Well, give him some uh, some play. So, while it's mostly smallmouth, they're not the only things that live here. Whoop, sorry dude. <laughs> Get it? Well, I'd like to save about 30 of these fish for other filming trips <laughs> when we need them. You guys are welcome back anytime. This is just so cool. What do you think? Is there another one over there? It's probably so. another 30. I think there's a couple more. <laughs> You know, going out on, on this trip with Austin was really phenomenal. Not only did he, you know, guide us to all these great fishing locations, he provided drinks and lunch and made, he put out a little buffet. It was phenomenal. It was something I wasn't used to. You know, usually I'm just grabbing a piece of cold pizza or something. He actually laid out sandwiches. I would suggest this thing, this kind of trip to anybody. It, it's a first class fishing trip. If you want to try and learn how to fly fish, you know, he has rods there and tackle to help you. Uh, if you're an experienced fly guy, I can only imagine how good this would be. Uh, but for a guy, you know, throwing conventional bait casting stuff, one of the best trips I've ever been on. That one just uh, was kind of dainty. I'll tell you what, anybody that doesn't want to come here is crazy. There's nothing more in fishing you could like more than this. I should just hold on to a pair of pliers because I mean, and they're all 13, 14, 15, up to 16, 17 inches. That has to be six or seven fish without moving the boat.